Let's review the different iterations of the Honer Marine Band cover plates. This is built on the 1896 platform. Of course, 1896 was the year that it was uh, built. The model was designed, I believe even patented in 1896, maybe 1897 is when it got its patent, built on the Parawood comb. This particular one here, you can see the sharp edges of the Parawood, <laughs> very, very uncomfortable. Most noteworthy about the Marine Band cover plates are the vents. You see the vented cover plates. What's neat about that, especially for you players who learn to cover up and change your, your hand position, you can change the voicing on how the instrument speaks. But limited to the volume is this. The cover plate is, see how it's folded on the back? It was built this way, of course, to strengthen the sheet metal to prevent it from being crushed. Of course, that wasn't always the case. Um, as you see a lot of players, it does this V shape in the back. But one of the problems is the it, it blocks a lot of the uh, volume from being able to escape out of the back of the instrument, okay? So this has been rectified in the uh, versions number two and, of course, version number three, which I'll show you in just a second over here. It's also attached with brads, which are little nails, and I'll show you how we can replace that with OT80 brass machine screws, which look super cool. So the next generation is this one. And uh, Steve Baker pushed to have this one come to fruition. And what's key about this one, look at this. Look at the mouthpiece on the Parawood compared to this one. Very, very rigid, sharp edges that, uh, well, suffice to say, it's really super uncomfortable to play, especially for you tongue bloggers. Okay, so this one has the rounded tines and the comb is sealed around the perimeter. And like the uh, 1896, the size of the vents on the cover plates is the same. But look at the back here. You'll notice the rear crest starts angling upward, sort of like a uh, alpine ski slope. And then the folds are bented back at the factory, exposing a much larger opening. You can see the fasteners you can see the reeds see the reflection of the reeds okay so this iteration which came out in 2005 and that's what the model is marine band deluxe 2005 it came out that year it has wonderful fasteners probably the best of class these are binding posts that are my favorite of all the binding posts that Honer offers, I like the ones that show up on the Marine Band Deluxe, okay? So our goal when we customize the 1896 is to create this Alpine ski slope and to fold back and make it look factory. Not like maybe uh, even you have been guilty of this. <laughs> where you use pliers and you would just simply bend back the folds. It looks pretty, pretty terrible. Okay. Third generation. That would be Joe Felisco's innovation, which is seen on the draw. Look at this. See how it drops down? And I'll hold up this one. So you have a comparison Okay, it almost looks like a mistake, but I can assure you it is not a mistake. And to customize your draw plate cover plates to do this is 
really difficult to learn, really difficult. And then looking at it straight forward, you can see how it drops. One thing that I, I grew to like about this, and I, of course, drop down like that, you'll give the lower reeds, which are longer and weighted, more swinging room, so you don't get the click, 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 clack, clack against the draw plate. So that's a really super cool feature. But because it opened up the tone chamber down here, you can resonate um, uh, and allow the lower tones of the harmonica to speak better. But one thing that was uh, unexpected for me was I liked how it felt. It closed the gap here when I held the harmonica. So that was an unexpected benefit. Thank you, Joe. Okay, so to learn, like I said, to learn how to do this um, is painstaking. Uh, you could build like 10 of these marine bands in the <laughs> amount of time it takes to make one of these. So what I do and what I recommend for you, if you're interested in the marine band Joe Felisco plates, order up Thunderbird replacement cover plates from Honer Parts, okay? And just attach it. And that's what I do. So this iteration over here shares the similar high slope of the rear crest and the folded down bends on the on the hems is what I meant to say on the hems back over here okay so that'll be that is going to be our lesson today we're going to actually see how you can pull that off on your marine band 1896 cover plate now that's going to require let's put this aside and because we're dealing with sheet metal, here's one that I already, in fact, this one is new old stock called NOS, N-O-S. And you'll see there, there aren't even any holes because I bought these from the factory, a zillion of them, many, many, many years ago. When, when in fact, when Honer was still located in uh, Virginia, okay? So I'm gonna use this one as my sample. So when you turn it on edge, you're gonna see this 90 degree, right? It just goes straight on that fold. So our goal, we have, there's two things we're gonna do. We're going to, come on you, get in the focus. We're going to increase, we're gonna increase the flip up, the Alpine ski jump and we're going to fold these completely flat and make it look uh, factory. When I was in the sheet metal HVAC business many, many years ago, I used this. This is called a hand brake, okay? And it's just as an amazing coincidence. <laughs> it's almost as if it was made for customizing Honer marine band cover plates. It fits absolutely perfect. And so this is going to expedite your work. It has the proper amount of gradient, the bevel cut into the leading edge of the, gosh, it almost looks like a, what do they call that? A, a duck bill, okay? So I also found when I was doing sheet metal, after cutting myself like a lot, is I always wear gloves. It's kind of a tackified, slightly tacky, but it holds the work and it won't slip. And especially I'm not gonna cut myself because the cover plates after all, sheet metal, okay? So this makes our easier work of it. Okay, so here's the process. I mean, let me re-angle this, okay? So this one, after doing a zillion of them, this adjusts the clamping, the pounds per square inch over here. Um, and so I have it set where I think it's gonna be just perfect. So you're gonna line up your flat edge directly into the tool all the way back. 
and then make sure it is proud or make sure it is lined up where it's at a 90 degree angle or else your bend is going to be funky, it's gonna be crooked, okay? So now you're gonna clamp down on it. I didn't like that. See, that, one's, that, that one felt too loose. So I'm going to twist it a little bit more. Sounds better. You heard the convincing click, but let's go a little bit more because I want, I don't want this thing to slip out of its grip. And I'm going to go one more. That's pretty close. There it is. Double check. Make sure of the alignment. Now this, I'm going to cheat a little bit by get by propping up my uh, stage case here. And I'm going to place the mouthpiece of the, let me hold it up so you can see the angle. So I'm going to prop it up up against the, the leading edge of the cover plate. See that right there? Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the heel of my hand and just kind of hold it in place. And I'm going to apply... downward pressure just a little bit stop take a look yeah so you can see what i'm doing is i'm increasing the bend right here but it's a very very slight radius i don't want to put a crimp in it i just want to raise it so take your time i'll do it again Mmm, that's looking really, really good. In fact, comparing it to the uh, Green Band Deluxe, it's getting more and more in line. But I can do a little bit more, huh? What do you say? Or like that. Okay, yeah. So I can li I like that uh, that 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 angle. So let me show you what it looks like now, so you get an idea of how much we raised. Okay. So if you recall, before this was set up, let me grab my. Okay, before the fold what went straight down at a 90 degree look how much look how much we changed the the angle the gradient of that fold okay but that doesn't look that's not cool that's not what we want so before you put your tool away lock it back in okay and again lining it up to the edge Okay. All right. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure it and actually, actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to fold it in kind of like a clamshell and I'm going to fold it in towards the inside of the cover plate. Watch. But all along, you see, I'm applying pressure upwards as I'm directing the heel of the tool downward. Okay, and you can see it actually form right there. Do you see that? Let's release it and take a look. Okay, that actually looks kind of cool, doesn't it? It looks cool. And so some customizers will stop there because it does look cool. It looks almost like you, you put a radius in there. Okay, not bad. In fact, I would probably be inclined to stop right there, except I want to show you 
what if you want it to be completely flat like the newer versions of the Marine Band Deluxe, okay? All right, so what we do there, now, careful not to scratch it, we, have, we take the vice grip brake and we line up the top one just, just above the letter B and M. That's a good place to to line it up. Those are my those are my guides. And again, if you do if you don't line them up properly, and then you go to bend it, it will be crooked. I mean, it's still play, but we don't do crooked. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, so we line it up over here. <coughs> And now what I'm going to do, and just like, because remember, this is a vice. This tool is a vice. Vice grip. And so I'm squeezing. Squeezing. And I'm actually collapsing the fold onto itself. Okay. All right, so... There, I completely flattened it onto itself. But then you'll say, hey, Harpsmith, um, um, I still wanted it to kick up a little bit higher. Where's my uh, Alpine ski slope? Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay. Put the tool back on here. I'm going to lighten up on the grip a little bit. Because all the heavy lifting, if you will, was already done. And so now I'm going to use my fingers as to stabilize it. And the thumb to support it on the top of the bill here. And let me turn it this way so you can see it. And I'm eyeballing it. Okay, I'll stop there because I think it looks pretty darn cool. Okay, look at that. And again, by way of comparison, looks like we matched the same lift sloop. Okay, look at that, see? And it looks factory too. You don't see a bunch of plier marks on there. It looks awesome. It looks like you would expect from a top-notch Marine Band customizer. Yeah, I think this one looks great. Okay, so this part with the rear fold will be duplicated on the draw plate. And then you line them up, always match it up, always match it up so that you can compare you can compare to make sure that the slope is different, okay? You can see this particular one is a different variant. I wanted that radius look so i'll show you this okay so there's another version of what you can do yeah so variations of the same theme um i just have different what i did here was i actually took a 360 force rod and I shaped it around the rod to take on exactly this um, a diameter. It's a lot of work. Uh, in fact, I've only done it a few times and decided, man, that was a lot of work. But it does look pretty darn cool, okay? So depending on how much time and interest you have, you can design these any way you want, but the main goal 
is to open up the back so that you're going to get a louder projection of your instrument. Let's take a look at what I did here. I always I like the look of on the customizing. I like the look of the brass. Let me pull out the 1896. Okay, so here's the here's the original. See that right there? Okay. Even though it looks like little screws, you can see the slot. It's not. It's an illusion. <laughs> They're trying to fake us out. It's just nails. All right. So what I decided to do is I, I recreated that utilizing uh, an OT-80 rounded brass head fasteners and nuts. Looking around, trying to find where... Ah, here we go. Okay. So, easy to get, very inexpensive. I get mine sourced through Micromark. And then, of course, I always order the, uh, the brass nuts with it. Because they're really, really small. But it makes for a nice clean finish. And again, when it's all assembled, it looks like the it looks like the marine band of old with the uh, the rat. Okay? It all depends on your taste. But how you do that is I do everything on a drill press, but I wanted to show you it can be done with a handheld drill as well. I uh, you chuck a 1 16th metal drill bit. Grab a piece of hardwood. And you need a backing. If you don't, because remember this is sheet metal. And the thing with, cut, with, with, uh, with making holes in sheet metal, you should really use a punch mix for nice clean holes. Uh, in fact, here I, you're looking at a larger hole here is one that I actually used to punch, okay? But for this one over here, that's what's left behind after removing the, the nail. It's a very, very small hole that a 1 16th drill bit backed up against a piece of uh, a wood will make sure it doesn't rip and, and um, well, run away from you, actually. Okay. So I'm just, you can see the metal cutting away. It's a sharp bit. If I had many to do, I would use lubrication. Okay, there it goes. Okay. And you can see it went all the way through. But the advantage of that is that I know it's not going to blow through on the opposite side. Okay. So it's fairly flat and ready to go. Let me go ahead and pull my gloves off. I don't need them anymore. Super hard to grab onto these small fasteners. But I wanted to make my point. See? See how wonderful that is? Like that. Okay. So let's do a quick review. The point of customizing Honer Marine Band 1896 cover plates is to be in alignment with the newer generation of harmonicas that include the Marine Band Deluxe 2005, The crossover Thunderbird, also in the Marine Band family. Um, and again, um, if you're so inclined, purchase the Thunderbird so that you'll have access to this drop form draw cover plate. Super cool. To play it, to hold it, is to love it. But not necessary, okay? I just wanted to make that clear. It isn't necessary. 
And then when you assemble your harmonica, and again, refer back to bluesharmonica.com, the series called Marine Band University, I'll show you how you can customize and seal and sand the stock comb, because these are horrible, absolutely horrible. And you can replace it, of course, with um, some of the customizers out there are making combs, like Todd Perot makes resin acrylic combs. T Tom Halchek from Blue Moon has a variety of material, including brass. I myself make my custom harmonicas out of a material called Packwood. Let me show you that Packwood is a material that is a material that is compressed wood and resin. The advantage of this is that pack of wood. You'll you'll see this material on um, knife handles, impervious to moisture, will not warp, will not distort. Okay. Now what John Harrell and I did, we made a bunch of these, and we made them thinner than the uh, stock combs. And the advantage of thinner combs on the marine band platform is it will um, increase the read response. So it's a little known secret that us customizers do with thinner combs, okay? But as you can see here, I rounded off the front. Everything is, uh, even though it wasn't necessary to put polyurethane and seal it, I wanted this to be absolutely comfortable. So my custom Marine Band harmonicas, I always replace the comb because I think it makes just that added bit of difference, okay? So now you have multiple strategies and the rest is up to you back in the camera there on how you want your new customized Honer Marine Band 1896 to be brought into the modern ages. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Don't hesitate to contact me at Kenya at harpsmith.com. Bye for now.